we're pretty sure that people are going to look at the Duke Notre Dame game Tuesday night and focus on the wrong thing. So here's a list of what didn't work as well as it might have, and then we'll talk about what did, and finish with a brief discussion on officiating. Get your go juice. Duke certainly could have shot better. There were a couple of key stretches where Duke just didn't run the offense as effectively as it could have. Duke didn't find a counter for Dane Goodwin, who took his defenders, didn't matter who, in the lane and bullied them. He shot 84% for the game and, by the way, did it right in front of where Mike Przyzkzy was sitting. Duke didn't always handle Notre Dame's defense well. The Irish worked hard to control the lane defensively and did it very well. Among their positives for this game, they nearly shut Duke out on the offensive boards in the first half. Duke let Notre Dame come back late and nearly steal the game. We're sure when they break down the game film, the Duke coaching staff will pay careful attention to the closing minutes and just how Notre Dame came back. However, they'll be grading on a level most of us can't imagine. We saw Cormac Ryan and JJ Starling hit late threes and then Starling make a layup. We didn't see how Duke failed on those plays and our guess is there were several points of failure from a coaching perspective. Those are all valid issues and concerns. But here are the things we took away from this one. Duke really got screwed Saturday at Virginia. That could have been demoralizing, but in the end it wasn't. A young team buckled down and finished the job. Kyle Filipowski, in particular, played like he was still angry. Good. He should have been. Derek Whitehead appears to be the most reliable three-point shooter on the team and cannot be ignored when he is on the perimeter. That means it's a lot harder to clog the lane as Notre Dame did.